Hi there, Virgo, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the month of February 2023. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out in the monthly format. Let's see what's going on for Virgo. We will start off with your overall energy and break it down week by week. So Virgo, your overall energy is the Queen of Wands in the upright position. <coughs> Which I can indicate, well, first of all, it could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Now, this could be uh, a very fiery person that is dominating your month. It could be um, your romantic partner. It could be uh, your family member. It could be a friend. It could be, you know, a boss or someone in the workplace. But whatever it is, this Queen of Wands is a real mover and a shaker. It can be a little bit on the hyper side. Uh, wands also represent business and enterprise. Perhaps you're being courted by this Queen of Wands. Maybe they want you to be their business partner or come work with them or for them. Um, the Queen of Wands is also a traveler. It could be a representing someone uh, whom you need to travel to see or is traveling to see you. Uh, this could be you embodying the energies of the Queen of Wands. Maybe you want to get moving, get things going, cracking the whip like crazy this month. Just, you know, go, go, go. Sounds like a Virgo, especially beginning of the year. Virgos like to get everything in place. So this could just be you wanting to take action in your home, business, whatever the situation is. Maybe whatever it is you need to do to get out of the way. You want to, you know, wrap up projects and so forth and get everything moving. Right at the beginning of the week for week one, we do have uh, the major arcana judgment in the upright rooted down by the page of wands in the upright. Well, the judgment card is about resurrection, having something come back on the table that we thought was done and dusted. Here it is. It's resurrecting. It's coming back again up on offer. Now, for some of you, this can represent a huge, uh, you know, eye-opening experience. It can be also... Uh, uh, a spiritual awakening for some of you perhaps you're just you know for for those of you who are more spiritually minded of course it could be that you have an epiphany maybe you're in meditation and something happens and you're just like oh i get it i see everything for exactly what it is for others of you, like I said, it could be a representing a resurrection. It could be that a company you once worked for now and you really enjoyed it, maybe it's coming back on offer again. They could be reaching out to you or you could be hearing about it from a friend. For others of you, this could be about a relationship that you thought was done and dusted. Maybe uh, due to circumstances, you had to go your own way. But it could be, ooh, this is you know a potential come back on the scene again could be a friendship it could be anything but remember you have free will just because something returns from the past does not mean you automatically have to accept it sometimes you just use the experience for closure now it's attached to the page of wands in the upright position again more fire energy aries leo sag sun moon or rising but remember not necessarily this could just represent simply what the page of wands represents which i do love this energy it's very exciting and this represents a message coming to you a very exciting message this could be one you want to shout from the rooftops now it could be coming from the past it could be coming from a person from the past who reaches out and messages you or this could be about um well you know you hear something about a place where you once loved and you want to either move there or you want to work there or you want to you know get reacquainted well guess what now all of a sudden the message comes to you and it's something fun, exciting. It can represent travel. Page of Wands does represent travel as well. Could be hearing from your travel agent about uh, news or information about somebody traveling to see you or you going to travel to somebody else. Now in week two, we have the beautiful victory card, Six of Wands in the upright, rooted down by the Queen of Pentacles upright. Well, this is... Um, 
I don't know, for some reason, I always seem to attach the Six of Wands to uh, Virgo. For some reason, probably because I've been, in all the years I've been doing readings, this comes up for Virgo a lot. And I can certainly understand why. Virgo is very steadfast and works on projects until they see it through to the very end, even if it takes a year or two. Virgo will stick with it to make sure it meets the end and uh, there's a victory attached to it. So this is the prodigal son or daughter return some of you could be hearing some news or information about returning home or returning to a job or a company that you loved and now um you know you're returning there and everybody's very happy to see you uh coming back on the scene again for others of you like i said you just completed a project and now it's kudos to you everybody's giving you pats on the back and there's you know a parade in your name in your honor and it's definitely in your honor because here you come up the queen of pentacles in the upright position this is the court card could be representing a person if it's representing a person this is earth energy taurus virgo capricorn sun moon or rising this is you coming up in your own reading in the upright position indicating you are on the right path and that this victory was was a hard won victory and it was won by you. You were the main person in this victory or whatever this is this is going on here, uh, a return to somewhere because they're reaching out to you. If this like say for example is a past company that uh, you loved working for but for whatever reason something you know took you somewhere else they could be reaching out to you and uh, seeing that you know you have such an excellent record they want you to come back and this is all on you because your own record and your own history stands you know second to none so this is you have built a great reputation and now the victory is coming to you so beautiful beautiful energy you're standing strong the queen of pentacles can sometimes represent financial security or material security so whatever this is if this is an offer being extended to you it's one that comes with really good coin so very very good perfect beginning of the month for you now moving on to week three we have the five of cups in reverse rooted down by the two of pentacles upright Five of Cups in the reverse position can indicate um, <clears throat> basically overcoming some emotional difficulties, loss, sorrow, disappointment from the past. It could be for some of you, you know, this return of this person or this situation helps bring a healing to you on the emotional front. Five of Pentacles or Five of Cups in the upright points to that you know sorrow loss sadness disappointment and sometimes this could be over loss of a friendship over loss of a job over loss of you know different things but this is about healing now on the emotional front so whatever this goodness that is coming to you at the beginning of the month it's helping you to heal on the emotional front it's rooted down with this two pentacles in the upright position indicating this is harmony in the midst of change so something is definitely changing up for you this month virgo <clears throat> but there's harmony here whether it's you're taking on something else in addition like say oh yeah okay now i have to travel for this job or whatever that's okay that's an additional thing that i have to do but you're doing it with ease uh this can also represent uh, balancing our checkbook we do see you know good solid financial uh, goodness coming your way in week two so this could be about you know balancing your checkbook so this is about you you know maybe paying off some debts things like that this can also represent um, you know just having balance <laughs> you know like in the in the card dep depiction this person is just trying to balance everything out well guess what virgo's really good at doing that especially um when stability and security is involved so it could just be you making sure everything moves smoothly whether you're moving money whether you're moving homes whether you're you know moving jobs whatever it is you're just making sure everything moves beautifully it's harmony in the midst of change so whatever is going on it's it's not a struggle for you and in the last week you have the high priestess rooted down by the ace of cups so the high priestess in the upright position can point to hidden knowledge nobody likes to uh hear this but nobody can help you 
figure out what's going on. Sometimes you just have to take a leap of faith when it comes to this. But always, always you have to listen to your intuition when the high priestess comes up. There could be something going on behind the scenes. You're not quite sure what it is. But you, that's why either if you do do some meditation and, you know, more spiritually minded, you might want to try meditation or just sitting alone quietly going within, trying to figure out what is this I'm sensing or picking up because you're picking up something. You're not quite sure what it is, but there's no one around who can actually tell you what's happening so if worse comes to worse if you're not a, a spiritually minded person at all or not the type to sit and quietly and listen then just go with your gut whatever your gut feeling is about something go with that it's rooted down with the ace of cups now this could be concerning an emotional matter with the ace of cups being attached to it ace of cups represents well all aces represent something new coming in so this could be something new that would really really open your heart now this could indicate for some of you a new relationship budding of course that can open the heart but this can also represent a new a baby coming in a grandchild or something maybe some of you are sensing that you're you're with child that you're pregnant and it's like oh i'm feeling this i'm feeling this i'm feeling this and then you find out that you are or it could be um you know you're sensing something and you know boom all of a sudden somebody gives you a puppy for a present or something like that and you're like oh i just knew something new was going to come into my life to open my heart chakra for others of you um, this can uh, represent uh, something really good being offered to you by the universe it could be you know your dream job your dream home or something like that and it's like yes and the heart chakra just bursts open <laughs> and you're starting to feel wonderful looks like a very interesting uh, month for you virgo i can't wait wait to hear the comments in the comment section uh let us know what what's going on with you guys and also in closing i pull two cards from the zodiac deck one is for love and romance and the second is for career and finance so let's see love and romance since ace of cups did show up here <laughs> Love and Romance, ooh, Moon in Scorpio, number 20, and it says Transformation. Now, it could be, for some of you, Scorpio is the love interest. Something important could happen on the 20th of February uh, concerning your love life, or it could be um, when the moon is in Scorpio in the month of February, maybe something significant will happen. Otherwise, it is a Scorpio that is the love interest or um, maybe you meet the love of your life through a Scorpio. Second card is for career and finance. And we have moon in Capricorn, number 22, accomplishment. See, accomplishment, it goes with the victory, right? <laughs> I knew. I knew it. You guys are accomplishing something or putting the finishing touches on something this month. Okay, um, you'll be acknowledged, it looks like, for your accomplishment. It could be something significant happens in your career and finance when the moon is in Capricorn. Or it could be on the 22nd of February. Or it could be it's through or with a Capricorn that you achieve some kind of success in that respect. So thank you very much for joining me, Virgo. I hope you have a fabulous month of February. And uh, I hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye for now.